All right, guys. All right, I am freaking out. We are on high alert right now. There is a high speed pursuit that's been going on all day. It's been going on for like three or four hours. The guy actually stopped and got fuel from like a buddy. Anyway, that's not the point. I got the engines ready. Everything's ready to go. And Garrett's showing up late to work. And okay, there he is. Perfect. Okay, so that's thank goodness he's coming in. Okay, he needs to hurry up. I'm waving him down. Come on, man. But we are on high alert. This does not happen very often that we know something might happen. So they entered our jurisdiction. We got the uh, the go ahead to start preparing because if anything happens, there's like 15 cop cars following him, bunch of state troopers. Garrett, Garrett, you ready? Get your suit on. We are on high alert here. Most likely something's going to happen. A high speed pursuit just entered our jurisdiction. 15 cop cars, crazy driver, uh, and he was throwing stuff out the window. I don't know. So just be ready for, for a crash for us to respond to. Okay, that's a lot to take in, but I'm ready. Yeah, you better be. I got all the engines ready. So pretty much you just got to jump in and it's a waiting game. Okay, let's get ready then. There we go, Garrett. Dispatch gave us the red light. Sounds like they just get an accident and two or three cop cars are going to be down. So let's go. Let's go. Okay. Turn on my lights. I'll let you lead the Here way. Here we go, boys. We're pulling out. Let's do it, Garrett. This is going to be pretty intense. So it's about five miles east on I-30. And then, yep, more stuff's coming in. It sounds like two officers are going to need. Okay. One's severely injured. The other just needs to get checked up on. Okay. Hang on a left. Okay, we got to get here quick then. That's some lives on the line. Oh, for some reason I can't. There we go. We're good. We're good. Swing wide. Let's get moving. Anything else coming on your computer? I can't. I'm trying to scroll through it all. They're just saying that there is a lot of chaos over there. They're trying to stop traffic, but obviously it's on the interstate, so it's taking them a little bit of time. Okay, and it looks like it's taking up both lanes. So the guy must have flew across. Okay, they initiated a pit maneuver and spun out and then... The officer came okay so looks like we got all the information they're gonna give us let's move let's move all right i'll let you know if anything else comes back on the computer okay perfect and then it's it's gonna be a little bit of a hike so i right, max her out see what they can do all right i'm going pedal to the metal brother i wish these things were a little faster yeah it would be it would be nice but i think there's just too much weight so it's around this bend I don't see any smoke yet. They did say, yep, there it is. Okay, I see the smoke. Oh, she's going. She's going? Oh, geez. That's slow, not slow, good. slow. All right, officers gave us room on the right. Take the right shoulder. Okay. Come around. There she is. Holy cow. What in the world happened here? All right, get our medic stuff open. There we go. Let's get your unit. All right, hoses attached. This is going to take us a few minutes. Garrett, you start doing uh, some paramedic work on that first officer. He's sitting behind that car. Okay. All right, you go help him. I'll get hoses. Okay, I'll work on that. Just grabbing my kit. There we go. All right, guys, there we go. We're doing that. Garrett's over there helping that officer. Okay, it looks like this was the car that Pitt maneuvered. And then it, that GMC actually rolled, but this car rolled a bunch. It's in the middle of the lane here. Oh, my goodness. It is hot. Okay, it's a lot hotter than I thought. Now, I don't know if it got to the gas tank yet or what. It's pretty much taking the whole entire engine bay spreading to the interior what even this car is like a rolls royce dang so these guys were legit like gangsters or something or just i don't know what the situation was but literally looks like a gangster mobile or like you know just a, it looks like a bad guy's car okay spencer the guy yep. seems to be pretty stable now we just have to wait for the ambulance to come but Here i'll you help go. you with this take fire. this hose take take this hose yep i'm gonna get the other thank one going you. perfect thank you all right he's all good then yeah he should be all good just need to transport Okay, perfect, perfect. So I think ambulance was like two minutes behind us, so I'm sure you'll get him here. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. But he's stable he is, and everything. The officers helped him out and stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. the officers should be all good. I don't see anything like unless there's something like internal bleeding. Okay. But should be good. I'm going to jump in this Corvette real quick and move it, and then let's try and stop it from spreading to that Yukon. That's, okay. that's what I'm concerned about, man. Yeah, those two vehicles are pretty much inside of each other at this point yeah it's it's not good it i think the yukon rolled a few times and rolled up next to it all right corvette's out of the way we're looking good there you go they just left the keys in it <laughs> yeah i think the officer jumped out and tried to get the other officer out and yeah there's so much chaos who even knows where everyone is at this point point? and then they got the suspect in the back of the car so i think it was just one guy so that's good and then now it's our job man oh oh geez this yeah, thing it's probably is us left this thing probably overheated because they said it was a four, four and a half hour 
car chase in that the guy actually fueled back up. Usually they don't last that long. They run out of fuel. Yeah, that is crazy. Like, how did they even let him fuel back up? I don't know. I, they said his buddy was riding alongside of him with a gas can, pouring it in, and they had some oh pump my. thing. And yeah, 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 yeah. I was listening to it on dispatch, and the officers were calling it in. It was, it was pretty entertaining. That is crazy. Well, hey, honestly, like, at least we're here, and so far everything's going well. There's no one who we know is, like, severely injured as of yet. So yeah. Should be okay. And I think we're going to be on the news, so uh, that'll, that'll be good. Uh, that'll be kind of cool. Hopefully they get my good side. Yeah, hopefully they do. All right, it looks like we kind of stopped it from going to the interior. And then if we could pop the hood, I feel like that's our problem. We can't get direct water on it. Ah, uh, maybe go through the ra the front radiator or something. Yeah, we just have to keep trying to blast it. Luckily, these are our new hoses, so they are a bit more powerful, but this is definitely a very hot fire. Yeah, for sure. It's looking good, though. I, I think it's getting quite a bit smaller. Just keep spraying. All right. Spray and pray, we'll baby. Spray and pray. That's a... Oh, gosh. I'm going to go try hitting it from the other side a bit. Yep. Shoot it that side. I guess I didn't really do too much over there. GMC still looks good. I'm going to kind of get that wet because if that spreads, then it's kaboom, and that wouldn't be good, but it's going down. Yeah, perfect. And luckily, there's no gas or there's no uh, oil leaks or anything that I can tell, so should be okay when it comes to, like, reigniting. All right, Garrett, she looks good. I think uh, I think we got her under control. You think? And then let's get, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call the tow truck company and get them out okay. here. Uh, Ch um, Chow's repo, Chow repo, I think is who we're gonna oh, call. Yeah. And then we'll get them out here, get them, get them taking care of this stuff. So you just keep working it, make sure get that GMC soaked up too. And we should be good to go. Okay. Yeah, somehow the lights are still on with the GMC. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm surprised they aren't burn off. Yeah, I must have a pretty good battery in that thing. All right, Chow Repo, yep. This is, yeah, we're on the interstate, mile marker 25, in between 25 and 26, heading north on I-30. Uh, yep, around the bend. Yep, we're going to need two, two, yep, two cars are coming off, one GMC, and then I believe it's a Rolls Royce. It's kind of, it's melted, so I can't really see, but, yep. No, that works, yep. All right, they're going to be here in about five minutes, so we're going to have to clear some traffic to get them in here. Just keep that in mind, and uh, we'll, we'll probably tell the officers to do that. Okay, sounds good. This was crazy. Yeah, that was. Uh, that's pretty melted. That's a Rolls Royce. It's like a... You can even see that maybe maybe the interior was red because of the fire, but this thing looks like a... Uh, I don't know, your stereotypical just bad guy car. You know what I mean? With oh, yeah. the rims and... Like the the white and the black and then the red interior. It's like, geez, man. Seems like something El Capone would drive. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. But let's uh, let's kind of get this place cleared. Tow trucks are coming in, and then we'll head out here, Garrett. Good work, man. Okay, I'm gonna stop spraying this. I think I think we're all yeah, good with water. Yeah, probably good. So, water the grass. Everything looking good. Oh yeah, a little sprinkle. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, tow trucks are coming through, Garrett. Let's go ahead and pull out. I think we'll be okay. good here. Wow, that was crazy. Such an intense scene. Yeah, just keep the lights on. Let traffic know that, uh, you know, as they're coming in here, you know, it kind of just keeps them, I guess, once they see lights, they start to slow down. So that's good. But we'll take the next exit, kind of take back roads, and then we'll head back to the station. That was, yeah, that was intense. We've had some intense calls in the past few weeks. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if this is ever going to start simmering down, but honestly, they're pretty fun to do <laughs> yeah no i i enjoy them the car fires i don't personally i don't like being on the interstate and i feel like someone come and hit us on accident and so yeah i don't like interstate but we we got a house fire like two weeks ago but besides that garrett have you on your trips have you got, i haven't heard of any other building fires in our jurisdiction honestly buildings haven't really been lighting up recently for whatever reason just cars just cars. i don't know yeah maybe it's the heat you know they start to overheat and they blow up and it's pretty crazy yeah and uh, as we know the drivers around are pretty crazy too so it's kind of expected all right guys we're just getting back to the shop that was actually 
it's like so much longer than I ever thought. We should have taken the back roads, but we didn't want to go back through the accident and all that stuff. But made it back to the station. Station's looking good. Everything's everything's going good. We're getting lucky. Nothing bad is kind of happening to any of the trucks. Sometimes we have breakdowns, stuff like that. But that's why we prep them. Here it's pulling in. Let's see. Let's see if he can back in. Oh, he's got the paramedic unit and the water hose unit with some ladders. He's all around. Looking good. A little tight there. All right, he's still going. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you guys remember, we had the Bigfoot like accident right here. It's still crazy that it happened right in front of the station and we got all taken care of and stuff. But once again, guys, smash like button. Hopefully you're having a good weekend. Throw in the comments what you guys are up to. Ooh, that looks like, ooh, that, that either is the Coast Guard or it looks like a fire department helicopter. That's, I know there's forest fighter fires a ways out and we haven't gotten called to that, thankfully, but that would be weird to see if you guys could see that it was way i might get my binoculars out and show you but i think i lost it but anyway oh yep there it is yeah there's the helicopter right there that looks like oh, okay that might be i don't know no i don't think they might be transporting that might be be something else but there are forest fires close by so that that could be something that we get called to if it keeps coming our way because the wind is blowing our way and it's been growing our way but it's still a ways out so that's something we might keep in mind maybe next week we get some calls for some forest fires that's gonna be it's gonna be interesting but once again guys thank you for watching smash like button and i'll see you in the next one Eek.